Now, this is quite an easy base to make, and if you want to know how to build this base exactly, there will be a fast-forwarded bit at the end of the video showing you exactly how I built this. Now, this base is inspired by a long-time viewer of the channel. His name is Aaron. I often see Aaron building this base every single time he plays on one of my servers or his single-player game. In fact, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. You go take a look at some of his videos. Now, where Aaron takes credit for the space entirely is this section right over here. The zombies will come running in from outside and they will get cut up inside these blades and there's a dart gun right over here for your demolishers and just to help you out. The nicest part about this is that you can fix these blade traps during mid Horde Night and you can refill the dart gun as well as you're going. So as you can see we have a generator in the corner here and all we have to do is turn that on and this is censored by the zombies when they come inside the zombies will see by the mo motion sensor and then the dark gun will go off but these you know, we can turn this off by doing that so yeah that's that's it that's the base and that's what we got going the rest of the base is mostly designed by me i don't really know what i'm doing with it to be honest i just went crazy and what i did is i built a pit going all the way to the bottom this is 11 blocks deep guys you have to go 11 blocks because if i'm not mistaken Zombies do not go into rage mode after 11 or so blocks. Make it 12 to be safe. I have not really tested that theory. A lot of people tell me that. Didn't actually know that, to be honest. But here we are. We're testing that theory here. So if zombies do fall in this pit, there is a unlikely chance that they're going to be hitting on the sides. Oh, missed a spot. And they should climb up. This is a ladder. They should climb up and just repeat uh, the path again. This bit here is, is to kind of make them fall. There's a chance that they don't actually make a run across the entire thing. Although there is a chance that they do. So it's like a 50-50 thing. So that's just to kind of reduce the amount of zombies. The intake that comes through here during the Horde Night. Another thing I always recommend when building bases. Try to make at least two to three ways for the zombies to come. Because if they do by accidentally break this over here. They then now have another option to come and attack your base. If you had one and that breaks, the whole base is obsolete. That is uh, another reason why I put three rows of these here. Because if eventually if they do break this somehow, they will have to then go like this. And that's not going to work out too well. So yeah, and, and try and make this all steel, right? These little poles, these are centered poles, make them steel. Really important because you don't want these to, these to break. I mean, even better, if you can make a third way up, I, I would like possibly go this way. And make another way coming up the back somehow. That might be a little bit better. But yeah, so guys, there's only one thing to do now. Is go test it out in a horde night. Test it out some zombies and see how this base actually performs. But before we go and do that, guys. Go and help support the channel by hitting the like button. And subscribing to the channel. It really does help. I'm trying to make as many subscribers as possible. And get some new folks on the channel. Always is great. So thanks, guys. Okie dokie. We got some basic zombies here. Let's see how they path see what actually happens okay they're jumping in that pit they're not too bad and then they're gonna go and path around this little bit of maze and there's a chance he can fall through that what's he gonna do and you can see some of them actually fall down some of them don't and when they get to this point here they get chopped up they have a bit of a hard time trying to get in obviously you're gonna have to repair a bunch of things as well you can't have them going nuts like this you could possibly put an electric fence somehow it doesn't look like they are hitting on anything down below neither so let's just see, it's just this point, when this one falls, what does he do? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Yeah, so it looks like they're not going into rage mode, which is a very good thing. We don't want that to happening. And then they just go back up. Look at that. You clever little zombies. Clever little zombies. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, all good. So yeah, guys, that is the overall design of the base. I think it's working pretty well with the standard zombies. Only one way to find out properly is do a proper horde night. You know, that's what we're going to do right now. Because that's the only way we can tell this is going to work out. Okie dokie. We are back. Trader Joel is closing and we are good for a horde night. Here we go. How's this going to go? Guys, there is one change that I think I want to do because when I was doing some more testing earlier, uh, some of the areas at the back of the base was being attacked and I, I kind of know how to fix that But right now we're just gonna go with the flow. We'll go with what we have You can hear them hitting in the back there and then also we need to make a little area for the uh, vultures as well Because we can't actually kill them and they are super frustrating. Hey Annoying vulture. Thank you. 
Right, now we just hope that they do the paw thing. There you go, we have our first victim. Slice and masks, come on. Bye bye. And then we should have watched out not to stand in front of the, the dart gun. Because I did make that mistake when I was doing some testing. <laughs> Gotta be very careful not to do that. Man, those vultures are going to be a massive problem. We can also throw some uh, some grenades down there as well. If we need to do that. But so far, it's going okay. Let's pick up some of that loot, guys. That bulge is gonna drive me nuts. It's gonna drive me crazy. Where are you? Ah, there you go. Okay, I actually don't have many dots in here. I actually did not think about putting more in there. You might have to do that during mid horde night. Let's see how that goes. Pew, 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 pew. I don't think the paw thing is very good on this base. I can hear them hitting on other things, which is kind of concerning. I'm very concerned about what they're hitting on. In fact, what we're going to do, right? We're going to detach our camera here for a second and see what's actually happening on the outside. You can see they're very interested in this, in the main area here. I, I think I know what to do with that. So we'll, we'll get to fixing that as soon as we get a chance. But right now, the the dart gun. I think the darts actually may have run out. This dang vultures, guys. The dang vultures. Come on, die. Yeah, you can see a lot of them are very interested in going this way. It's a bit of a problem. Let's actually see if we can fix that, like right now. Let's see if we can fix that. So let me show you guys what I usually do uh, when I have a problem like this. So let's kill off all the zombies here so we don't have any problems. Okay. So let's try and see if this fix actually works. So what we need is get ourselves a dev gun. Uh, we'll do a basic, a basic fix. We won't actually put any concrete down or anything. Just do this little, uh, little trench, trench around it. Should actually help. Let's just go around like this. Do it really quickly. This should solve the issue. At least I'm hoping so. Hope so. And then we can obviously put some concrete around it later. We'll make it about, I would say, uh, maybe four deep. Uh, it'll be better to do it like max depth, you know, 11, 11 blocks. But for now, we'll just do it like that. Okie dokie. Right. Let's see if that solves that issue. And then, if not, then we'll just keep on working at it. Right, let's... Uh, Touch my camera here and let's wait for the zombies to spawn back in and see if that makes any difference whatsoever because we don't want them doing what they were doing not a very good thing indeed and looks like it looks like that uh, that has solved i'm getting eaten up inside turning too close to the side it looks like that has solved the issue so yeah, guys, you need to do that. I would recommend doing it at the same height as this here. So if they do accidentally fall inside there, then they do have another another path. But guys, just one second here. <laughs> uh, I just want to put some spikes on the roof. These dang vultures. These dang vultures, guys. They are so annoying. I must do this more often. I don't know why. I never really have vultures. I, I always say that, but now lately there's so many vultures happening. By the way, guys, I wanted to ask you, do you guys enjoy when I stop mid Horde night and do some changes like this? I think it, it's kind of helpful because you guys get to see what I do and stuff. So let me, um, all right, that should be fine. That should, uh, that should kill them off, at least I hope so. I don't like the spikes on the roof. It makes it look so ugly. Okay, should be able to do Horde night a bit of peace now. What is going on? Hey, how did you get in here? Crawly, crawly underneath. Vultures are gonna die now, thank goodness. So now what we do is just chill, relax, get a cup of coffee, maybe a beer. Don't make coffee and beer, that don't work out too well. But now we can just sit here and repair and relax. The space is actually working out really well. Really, really, really happy with it so far. Let's go and chuck a grenade down inside there. The path thing seems to be a lot better since I put that trench around the outside. As you can see, they're not... Uh, hovering underneath me so much anymore, which is a very good thing. So this base is only made out of concrete, guys. I've only used concrete as a steel here, accidentally put down, but that doesn't make a difference. 
So if you guys want this base to be improved in any way, you would want to put down some uh, some steel, right? Especially in the in the major areas here. And steel's not hard to get, guys. Steel is actually really easy to get. I heard glass break. Oh, that's my torches. Oh no, that's. Hang on, let's remove that. I'm a little worried because it's it taking a long time to. There's a zombie down there that's having a nice time. Let's chuck some more grenades down here. Yeah. yeah, so you can see that these centered pillars are making them fall down. Which is a very good thing. It's exactly what I wanted. I think this dart gun's uh, still got some darts in it. Is there something wrong? Is it not? Okay, it's going off. I was a bit worried because it didn't look like it was going off there for a second. Stabby, 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 stabby! One of the coolest things about this base as well is you can use uh, melee, melee combat, and as well as um, uh, your guns and stuff. So you can choose what you want to do. Just stand here and hit the zombies as they come inside. And with blade traps being so uh, so bad in durability, you kind of need uh, to have access to it to repair it. Looks like they might actually break that ramp that side. If they break the ramp that side, guys, then we'll have a... Another ramp on the other side. So far, really happy with the way this base is performing. Really happy with it, guys. It's not too overwhelming. I have my zombie count at 32, I think. And I'm in the wasteland, so that doesn't make it any, any, any easier. Okay, I can hear one of these blades are not looking, not sounding too good. Just repair. A bit worried of where they're all at because now they're not actually moving around. Where are they? Yeah, they... Okay, you can see they've broken one of the ramps that side. So they'll probably go around to the other side. I feel like the ramps are not so great. They could use some changes. Okie dokie. And it is daytime. And now we can go and take a look at some of the damages that they've done outside. It's probably going to be pretty bad. Let's just see here quickly. Because you can see that ramp is not looking too good. Uh, but that seems like the only issue that we had. Everything else was performing really, really well. Uh, they probably were hitting, yeah, not so much down here. You can see very little bit of damage down here. That wasn't a very long horde night neither, and there wasn't no demolishers and stuff like that. But obviously, the space was not really intended for the end game stuff. I haven't prepped it for that just yet. Again, I also recommend maybe possibly going around the back like this. Okay. And then putting a, another set of ramps and stuff as a way for them to uh, to come up. So they're just multiple routes for them to take. Because you don't want them to break all the routes and then you're stuck. Right, so that's placed like a, a moron. But uh, you can see, something like that. Right. So now there's three ways for them to, to come up. They break that side, they've got that one. They break that one, they've got that one. If they break both of those two, they've got that one. So multiple routes is always uh, recommended. So yeah, guys, that is the base. I hope you enjoyed this short little video of a nice little base. This is just a, a nice way to show off Aaron's awesome base. He always seems to do this. And you can layer this as well. You can put another set of uh, poles and all that stuff. You could even make it lengthy. You can put another two spikes here and make poles going along there. It's quite a quite adaptable little base. Right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Check you in the next video. Like and subscribe always helps out.
Rock my 